Hello to the unfortunate few that symbol across this. I got stuff done. Uh, it is today, the 27th, which was my due date for the month. And uh, well, I figured I'll show some pictures of it, because uh, just saying I got it done, well, anyone could lie about that. So to start with, I got five ha auto cannon uh, iron Havocs. Are these my best painted minis in my entire army? No. No, no, no. They have lots of minor issues that annoy me. They do have a lot of decals, though. Uh, just not the iron warrior symbol, which is amusing. Each one of the knee pads has a uh, one of the bullet symbols from the, I believe it's the Blood Angels decal sheet. I figure by doing that, you can kind of see it there. I figure by doing that, you can, or I can, uh, make the whole, might eventually print more and build more, or make the squad bigger, and if I change the direction, maybe on the bullets, on uh, the other five decals I have. Yeah, no, no, I think I'll probably just keep them also facing down. Just make one big squad of ten. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a better idea. But all of my Iron Warriors have hazard stripes on all their weapons, if there's a place for it. Uh, obviously something like an axe, power axe specifically, won't have a spot for a hazard, any hazard stripes, which is, you know, that's fine. Uh, but they also, uh, all of them have a decal on the shoulder. Actually, no, there's this a different squad that has more decals than this. Um, but, you know, uh, just the number five, sure, um, squad five, we'll call it, on the, the shoulders I had space for it. And then the veteran symbol for the Iron Hand, or right, Iron Hands. Fuck me. You figure I know what Legion I play by now. Iron Warriors. And then uh, I put a Raptor Imperialis on the sergeant to give him a bit of uh, flavor. Make him, you know, oh, you know, he's he's been around for a bit. Because that's something, you, you know, I, I encourage others to do. And it'd be wrong of me to preach something and then just not do it. Which is customize your dudes a bit. After all, that is your army. I like his helmet. I also got a ran two random treasure piles done uh i i know these don't look particularly great in the light or in the picture um they look better in person they're not mind-blowing or anything uh they're just i can use them as objective markers or just whatever the fuck it doesn't really matter that squad of 10 breachers on the other hand uh, as you can see from this they did get done the kramlik shields were all everything's painted I tried to do a bit of sponge uh, weathering on, for like the paint chipping away on black on the shield. It, eh, not the greatest. I, I need to really get better with it. The sergeant on this guy, uh, the sergeant in the squad, I really liked how he turned out. He's got a fancier Mark IV helmet, he has the extra reinforced in case I want to sit there and back to her, he has artificer armor, which, why wouldn't you? I can use the antenna as a Vox relay, or a Nuncio Vox, you know, or that guy, that guy's wrist thing is a Nuncio Vox, or a Vexilia, or whatever, Augury Scanner. The options are there for me, it's not, it's not the most important thing in the world, but they, their two character, or two models in the unit are slightly different to show that yes, they have extra gear. Again, apologies not for the greatest of pictures ever. Uh, I have to use my phone camera for now, and uh, as you can tell, my phone camera is a... Uh, I don't want to buy an expensive phone, because I, I... I just don't. But I ran into a problem with the Breacher symbol for the Iron Wars decal sheet. Uh, it's a black circle. And I didn't want to put... waste the black circle... Uh, transfers on these black shoulder pads. So I grabbed the an ultramarine decal sheet that had a similar lightning bolt symbol. Cut that out, put on the breachers that, you know, the six of them that had said space for it. But again, no, uh, but again, hazard stripes on all the weapons. Uh, the only real space put on the flamers was the handle. No taping here because I'm not that smart. 
as I'm sure you might have been noticing on all these guys as well. I like to dirty my guys up to about their knees. I think it makes them look, uh, look a bit more grimy from what my army is. The last two marines I got done were a Delegatus that has been on my shelf not being done and a random tech marine who I could also turn around and use as a warsmith if I really need to. Again, the Eye of Horus symbol on his chest plate gives him a little character. He is, this guy is entirely 3D printed of just a bunch, or of, no wait, that's not true. His, shoulder, his uh, that shoulder pad is Ford World Resin and that shoulder pad is plastic. He is mostly 3D printed of various kits. This guy is mostly GW plastic, except for his... That... Both of his arms are printed, and his backpack is printed. I put a... I made the... can't really see in the picture, unfortunately, but the cog is metallic red. Kind of make it stand out a bit. I wish I had gotten that decal a little straighter, but... Oh well, it is, it is what it is. And that decal I tore just a slight bit when putting it, or to put it in place because I had the gouge in the armor. That decal did not turn out as great. I just put uh, Hal on his shoulder pad to act as a name. Uh, the, the ink spread a bit further after I wrote it. I might have to go back and fix it a little bit. Not to my standard. Bother. I put a little writing on his wrist mount for thingy. But I plan on using him as a Dell goddess. Again, apologies for the Lux and Cellar pictures, but Death Watch backpack, Mark III chest plate. I had to do a bit of cutting in order to get to fit. An old cast space marine, uh, surely bad. And uh, in order to make him a bit taller, since the Mark III's are. The old Mark III's aren't as tall as the new guys. I cut some sprues up and put it down, and I just covered the whole thing in uh, some green stuff and mud texture in order to rise them up a bit. It won't be too terribly noticeable, I hope. It will be. I know better. His, uh, his backpack banner, because I think those are cool, and you know you should, you should do what you preach. Uh, as my Del Goddess, he has a fair honorary vignette. On there, I probably should have used the white... Um, lettering from the decal sheet, but I I did not. I don't really have a good explanation other than why I, and I wanted to see what it looked like. Also, this guy's finger broke off and I could not find it, so that's green stuff. The last thing I painted, and he was painted pretty fast, was a old uh, metal skeleton minotaur. I have a very strange... I have a certain relationship with this model. The first Mott miniature I ever bought was all the way back in 2000 or 2001, and it was one of these. A minotaur from Dungeons... a metal skeleton minotaur from Dungeons & Dragons. And moving and stuff throughout the years, it eventually got lost, which is a great shame. For me. But, uh, scrounging on eBay, I found a couple of them, so I did what any person in my position who really wants this old model did. I bought them. So I have this one, which I did in a very... I'm not going to say like how I painted it when I was younger, because my paint, the one I painted when I was younger is completely, was completely awful looking. But... But... I have... I gave myself a similar kind of method to painting it, as I did back then. I only gave myself an hour to paint it, and I had I grabbed a shitty brush in order to try it out. It worked relatively well, <laughs> I think. I think it looks pretty good, considering that. But yeah, I, I, I adore this mini. But that would be the... I got slightly more done than I was hoping for at the beginning of the month when I started this monthly challenge for myself. Because I got the five auto cannon guys done. I got the ten breacher guys done. Done. 
I have a De Delgados and a Tech Marine done. I also got two random scatter terrain and Bit Marsh or whatever the fuck. And I got two or I got a uh, metal skeleton minotaur painted. So uh, all things considered, I surpassed my little deadline I gave myself, which means I will do it again next month. Hopefully it will turn out as successful. Yes, Tigers. But I think that will be all for now. I'll quit my rambling. Cut off my rambling, I should say. Let me know. Did you your uh, did you have any fun things you painted over the month of December? Of what year is it? Twenty twenty three. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Hopefully, all of you had yourselves a merry Christmas, and uh, yeah, have a good day.